Hi, hi. I'm still me, Nico. It's uh, officially tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, I, I took time off from everybody and dealing with everything for a while now, and and I've I've uh, pushed everyone away, kept them all at a distance for a little while now, because I kind of needed to get my head sorted out, because everyone was dying on me, and I mean, when I mean everybody, I mean like. In the span of a couple of months, my little brother got shot, and then my other little brother got shot, and then my other brother died of cancer, and then my dad died of a stroke. And I'm talking, this is in, within the span of six months. And we haven't even gotten to my sisters, whom three of them died back to back on me. And I'm trying to get my head sorted about it all. My, when my sisters died, when my brother died, bear. He, they they left me their um, daughters, I guess. And it's this weird link to my missing sibling that's like... There are times where you can see it, that glimpse of, of the sibling that's there. That little part of them that's inside of that child, you know. And then you see this whole different person because they are. A whole different person and they're not the replacement for my sibling and then you got to pull back from the situation and hope that on the other side they see that I'm not a replacement for my sisters I don't know I guess because I kind of always kept my distance I've always not kept my distance really I mean I've traveled a lot so every time I've traveled, I, my family would call it my disappearing act. And um, I guess since I traveled more for work, and then I traveled for fun, and I traveled more for work again, every time I got home, I just kind of forgot to check in after a while. And so everyone, we just kind of lost touch. In the last few years, the last three years specifically, death has been pretty fucking brutal when it comes to my family. It has taken a really great toll. My personal death count, we're talking about people who affected my daily life, people who I cared about, people who are friends or friends of friends, people who are my family, biologically or otherwise. I lost 600 people in the span of the last year, year and a half. No, not true. Since COVID, so that's two years now. It just feels, I don't know. It's a lot, and it has been a lot to process. And I felt that uh, leaving myself available to help them process their grief was not allowing me to sit with my pain and process mine. And I feel that there's, there's part of that that's still true. I haven't fully gone there yet, but I've been processing it little by little. And I'm trying to get to the place where I'm no longer shell-shocked, you know. But I, I think, and I know that they know it too because they've each said it at least once, but I think we have to keep in mind that we're not replacing the person who's gone for each other. We're there because of that person because we love that person, but we're not filling that hole for anybody because that, that person's gone and that's it. And I'm not okay with the that's it 
part of it just yet, but I'll get there. I'm getting there. Not as quickly as I thought I would. Miss, you know, perpetual bounce back, you know, strong back of the family. I'm getting there. I just still need a little more time. But I'm coming to the place where I can finally be there for at least my family again. Let them call and talk to me again from time to time. Maybe not so frequently where it feels overwhelming, but often enough that we don't lose touch. And I think every family should kind of come up with something like that. Not just a holiday for the sake of it being a holiday, but like times throughout the year to check in with one another. Maybe once a season. Maybe you guys are not that sentimental. You don't have to get in touch. Or maybe you guys have a psychic link like me and my kids do. We know each other's okay. And then one day it's like, oh, well, let me call and make sure she's still got a pulse, you know? But just calling to check in every once in a while and touching base, that's okay. Coming over and being together all of the time, taking up each other's space, I think it's a little soon for that. Maybe I'm not up to that stage of my grieving yet. I don't know. Maybe I'm not to that stage in my healing yet. But I'm better now. I've started to work on two more projects. This one's going to be a killer. It's going to be awesome. It's so weird. It really is just so weird. You guys are going to love it. Trust me. You're going to, you'll see a whole bunch more of it uh, coming up soon. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it, but you'll see. You'll see soon. Uh, on that note, not that, now that that's the only thought in my brain, so as not to blab what's going on, I'm going to uh, say bye here. See ya.